Hi everybody. This is Chef Abhijit Saha. Today I'll be preparing a dessert using US cranberries and the juice from the US cranberries. You can see them here. They look lovely and these are the dried cranberries. They are very rich in vitamins and minerals and they have a sweet and sour taste perfect for many dishes and desserts. And here is the juice that has been extracted from cranberry and this is also very delicious. I like to, like to use in making my sangrias, my virgin sangrias and this is fantastic and works very well. Of course, it goes well with the cosmopolitan as well. And uh, what we will start with is the cranberries are here and all my other ingredients for the relish. So the dessert is a crema catalana. It's a custard which comes from the Catalonian region of Spain. And uh, this is a, a very, very popular dessert. So first we will start uh, making the relish. For the relish, we have what we have here is the cranberry juice. To this, I will add some thyme sprigs to give a flavor for flavoring and I will switch on the gas so we'll allow this to come to boil and after that we will add the sugar this is the castor sugar so as soon as this comes to boil and the sugar is dissolved we will add the cranberries to it. The thyme will give it a very earthy flavor and make the relish even more delicious. So as you can see, this has already come to a boil. I can get the beautiful aroma of the thyme here. And now I will add the cranberries. So, two parts of cranberry juice to one part of cranberry. So, if I'm using 100 grams of cranberry, I'll be adding 200 ml of the juice. So, as you can see, I'll reduce the heat further and allow the juice to steep into the cranberries. So, that will make it even more delicious. So this should take you around 10 minutes or so over medium heat. So the aroma is really beautiful and I can feel that, you know, the delicious taste that we are going to get as a result of this from this relish. So now I'll add the lemon zest, half teaspoon and a squeeze of lime. If you want to make a savory relish, relish, then you can add some salt and some spices. You can add spices like cinnamon, you can add star anise, you can, if you want some, uh, you know, something to be a little, little hot, you can add a hot cayenne powder or chili powder too or, as well, or a paprika. And that will make, you can add uh, whole spices like star anise also into this or even any seed. So sweet spices will go very well with this. And to that also you can add what I said was the chili powder. So this is almost done now. So when it gets done, I have prepared some in advance here. You can see that the relish looks very, you know, juicy and at the same time very dense and uh, it is uh, very delicious in taste. So we will keep this aside. And now we will start with the crema katlana. So for the crema katlana, I have the ingredients here. So I have some milk, I have uh, castor sugar, I have orange zest, and I have some cinnamon. And egg yolks, 
and this is the cornstarch which has been uh, dissolved in 50 ml of water, 10 grams of cornstarch. So to start the process of making this custard, there are two parts to it. So I will start by boiling the milk first. So I will pour the milk. So with the milk, we will add cinnamon and we will add orange zest. Orange zest has some essential oils and the aroma. So you will get the flavor of the orange and yet not the sweetness from it. So it's a beautiful ingredient to add to many of your dishes and desserts. So this has to come to a boil. And once it has come to boil, we will allow it to sit aside for approximately 30 minutes so that the flavor of the cinnamon steeps into the milk. So it's almost about to boil. Here you go, lovely, we will set this aside now and allow it to steep for some time. Meanwhile, we will prepare the next part of the custard. It's got egg yolks, it's got caster sugar and then we have the cornstarch. So these are the three ingredients that are there. I will just make way space for the, so now I have the egg yolks, seven egg yolks are here, caster sugar and we will add the cornstarch. So the 10, ml, 10 grams of cornstarch dissolved, dissolved in 50 ml of water. If you have a electric whisk, you can use that. Electrically powered whisk or you can use the hand blended, handheld whisk as well, like I'm doing. So we have to ensure that the sugar dissolves completely in the egg yolk along with the cornstarch. As you can see, this is turning a slightly pale. The idea is not to make it very fluffy, but to just make sure that the egg has got, the sugar has got dissolved in the egg yolk. And the tricky part of this comes in that you don't want to scramble the egg when you are making this dish. So there is a way of doing it. I will show you how it is to be done. So this is, the egg yolk is now ready with the cornstarch. So this is done. I will keep this aside. And now what we will do is, we have the milk which is now cooled down and the cinnamon has steeped into it. We will strain the milk. So the orange zest and the cinnamon has done its job, imparted the flavor into the milk. I'll add the milk to the pan. and bring it to simmer over medium heat. In order to ensure that the egg doesn't get curdled, 
what we will do is that we will add a small part of the hot milk into the egg mixture. And we will stir it. So now this is come to a boil. We can add some more of the milk into this. milk and the egg is almost at the same temperature so I will start the process of adding the egg yolk mixture into the milk and keep stirring continuously you have to ensure that you are pouring it gradually and then Stirring it continuously. We'll slightly increase the heat, and you will see that gradually this whole mixture will start thickening. And getting the shape of a form of a custard. This is the same way in which you make any kind of custard, be it creme anglaise, creme patisserie, or any other custard. It has to come to this consistency, and you are ready. And your custard is ready. So the custard is now ready and we can pour them in individual bowls and we can bake them. We have to preset the oven at 160 degrees and then we can bake them for around 30 minutes. So that is what will give the custard the setting that we require. So we have made some here in advance and this is how it looks like. So this is the crema katlana which we have made in advance and uh, you can add some caramel to it or some toffee sauce if you want in the base if you want you can add some caramelized sugar you know if you want it a little more uh, with the toffee flavor but today we are going to make it with the cranberries so we are not adding the caramel to it. We are done here with this. Now, once this has been cooked and baked, what we have done is we have whisked it slightly and poured it what is called as the cream whippet or the espuma gun. So this is like a gun which James Bond uses and this is a gun for the chefs. So if you want, you can uh, buy them very easily online these days and it has got its own bullet. That's why it's called a gun. So here you have the nitrous oxide cream charges. So basically, we will now charge the mixture with the nitrous oxide. So what happens is that when you add the nitrous oxide to it, this is a quite a thick and a heavy custard. But when you charge it with the nitrous oxide, what happens is that the nitrous oxide gets incorporated into the custard and then it becomes very, very light. So that's how we will go about it. So we have poured the crema katalana mixture into this and now we will charge it. To charge it you have to put the cartridge into this and then you have to tighten the screw gradually and you'll hear a slight sound. So there you heard it and this charger is now ready.
after you have charged it you have to make sure that you shake it well so uh, that the air gets incorporated into it well and you get a very very fluffy custard we will see that very soon so my custard is now ready and fully charged and we are ready for the plating so for the plating what we will do is we have a martini glass you can use any other glass or any other bowl that you want but this looks beautiful because it's got a transparent look and all the layers of it will be visible i'll bring my ingredients for the garnish here and so what do i have here for the garnish i have some pistachio which has been toasted and crushed roughly and i have the cranberry relish i also have the liquid some liquid which i had saved from the cranberry relish and i have some edible flowers so that's about it so now that this is charged i will make sure it's shaken properly we will test it yeah it looks perfect so now we will add the cranberry relish to it in the base a good tablespoon full of it the idea is to enjoy the cranberry at its best and i will now pipe the espuma so if you can see it so we have the cranberry in the base and the espuma is looking so light so if you see the consistency of the custard here versus the espuma you can clearly make out the difference now i have some juice that is sauce that has been left over from the cranberry relish i have some pistachio which i will add this will give the crunch and it adds a beautiful color to it i also have some edible flowers and to this i can add some chocolate shards these are chocolate shards basically these are chocolates uh, which you have melted and put them in a sheet whether it is a, a plastic sheet you can use you can use a baking sheet and then you will spread the mixture thinly with a palette knife and you can get this garnish so what i will do is that i like it a little rough we will add this here and then we will add a white chocolate leaf as a garnish so here you go your dish is ready now the new age crema catalana with us cranberry relish the cranberry sauce and some chocolate shards and toasted thank you